Hi, I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a pilgrim. We're going to start on the left hand side and I'm going to draw the letter U. And then I'm going to come down a little bit and I'm going to draw the letter U again. I go back to the first U and I'm going to draw a slightly curved line at the top connect and now on the right one I'm going to put a slightly curved line connect on the right. I come back to the left and I draw a straight line, slightly curved line, straight line up on the left then I draw a straight line, curved line, straight line up on the right. I come back to the left and I draw a curved line out in connect on the left, curve line out, in connect on the right. I come back to the left and starting about midpoint here I'm going to draw a curve line up, over, down, and connect. I'm going to come down to the base and I'm going to draw a circle and then I'm going to draw a slightly curved line in and a slightly curved line in, one curved line out, up, one curved line out, up. I come back to the left hand side and I'm going to draw one straight line on the left, one straight line on the right, go back to the left, connect the two, and I'm going to draw another straight line up, curve line over, straight line connect. On the left hand side I go straight diagonal out, in, connect on the left, straight diagonal out, in, connect. Right in the center I draw a square. Inside the square I draw a dash, dotted line. I come up to the middle and I draw a slightly wavy line to the left, slightly wavy line to the right, I come over here and I draw a little wavy line down on the left, little wavy line down on the right. Now I come down to the bottom again and I draw a straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Come back to the left, draw me a big curve line down off the page on the left, big curve line down on the right. In the middle, one, two, three baby circles one straight line on the left, one straight line on the right. I come back up here on the left and I draw a straight line, wavy, wavy line in, connect on the left and on the right, straight line out, wavy, wavy line, connect. On the inside I draw one oval, two ovals, and I draw a little curved line inside, inside, and I'm going to fill that section in so I don't forget with my black marker. In the center I draw a curved line, curved line, little curved line, little curved line. Now on the right I'm going to come right about here and I'm going to draw a big curved line down and out, bottom of the page. On the right big curved line down and out. Now I'm going to do what we call an overlap. I draw a straight line, jump over, straight line up, right there. I come over on the left and I draw a little curved line on the left, little curved line on the right, and then a very tight wavy wavy line on the left, wavy line on the right. I come on the inside and I draw one, two ovals. I put a curved line, curved line, color in that space so I don't forget and I add one, two, three straight lines, one, two, three straight lines. Right in the center I go straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down, curve line, little curve line, little curve line. So that's our basic drawing. Now let's see what it looks like colored in. Alright, if you have multicultural crayons I'm going to color my faces 
my ears and my necks with peach or apricot color. If you don't have multicultural crayons, you can just leave it blank. And because my whole entire outfit is black, I'm going to use my black crayon, but not so dark that I take out my drawing. So I'm going to color this all in black. And now I'm going to come up and do my hat. This is my hat brim. And this section of the collar. Now, because it's just basically black and white, I'm going to take my yellow marker and color in my hair so it really pops. And just this little section down here, yellow marker. And then, again, because it's kind of just black and white, I'm going to add some green straight lines all the way across. You can use any color you want. Just to add a little bit of color. Alright, let's see what it looks like all finished. Here are my pilgrims all colored in, ready for the harvest and the Thanksgiving festivities. Okay, bye-bye.